All right, what's going on everybody? Today, I'm gonna go over a completely free way to make a logo in Canva without having to go to Photoshop. Um, just keep in mind, there will be absolutely no gradient work in this because Canva is not um, good for gradient work. Um, I will have an advanced logo video with Photoshop only. Um, that is coming soon. Um, but before you do anything, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Um, Activate that like, the like button. And if you're ready, let's go. All right guys, welcome back to Canva. Um, today we're gonna do a free logo, um, absolutely free. Um, you could do this with like the standard free version with Canva um, pro tip. I'm using the pro version. Um, which has a lot more assets to it. Um, nothing super crazy logo wise. So first and foremost, we're gonna go create a design and they actually have a 500 by 500 PX logo um, template. So basically what that does is that basically creates a 500 PX by 500 PX square, uh, which is optimal for the logo. Um, the logos are um, how you're going to completely show your brand. Um, as you can see, my Million Shark logo is that cool little MS logo. I'm gonna cover how to do that stuff in my advanced logos. This is just bare bone free, quick and easy to the point. Um, first is I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a circle. Um, so that's one cool thing. Um, Canva already has that free circle that you already, that you could add and I'm just gonna resize that one thing to keep in mind, you don't want to go all the way to the edge with your logos. You want to make sure you keep some space around there um, just in case there's any bleed over or anything. And plus, if you actually make it too big, it's going to start actually cutting into that. Um, so the logo, think about when you're looking at your Instagram account, your Instagram account is an actual circle. So you want to make sure your logo fits in that circle. Another cool thing with the circle um, around your logo, um, you could see, especially on the million shark, you could see the um, circle around there and you could resize it to have that small little thin um, circle going around there as well, or you could keep it thick, whichever way you want. So um, there's tons of awesome fonts. Um, so that's one cool thing. We have all of these different fonts. So I'm just gonna add a heading and drop down and you could see all these cool um, awesome fonts. Again, uh, most of them are on pro. If you see the little crown, that means it's a pro user font um, that you could use for free. Um, if not, you could purchase. I think it's like a buck for the font. Um, you could always try to upload your own fonts by going to 1001fonts.com, downloading and then re-uploading that as well, or use any of the awesome free versions that they have over here. So I'm gonna go with a very popular font right now, Gigalan. So what I like to do is create it letter by letter. So I'm actually gonna make a new one for a million shark. I'm actually, I'm not going to use it. I'm just doing this to show you guys how um, super simple and easy it is to create that logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it there. Um, and then control C, control V to duplicate it so you keep the size and then change that to the S. Um, and then just click out. and just kind of resize as you see fit. So now let's say I like how that logo looks. It's actually pretty cool. It's plain, simple, to the point. Now we're gonna go into finding two colors. So I choose a primary and a secondary color, primary being a very bright, very vibrant color, and the secondary being a little more darker. So in my Million Shark logo, um, I chose a blue and an orange. So orange is that pop that's gonna catch your eye and it's gonna go um, smoothly into a blue um, just to kind of ease the eye a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick a couple colors right now. So let's do a uh, pink. Uh, let me move that to the front so I could actually highlight that. I'm gonna do, I'll do a, um, 
let's choose blue. And then for the circle, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that black for now. Um, so now you basically have, um, actually let me go ahead and just make that. Um, we'll make that pink as well. So now we have our cool logo that you could see here. Um, now you can basically hit the download button Go ahead and download that. Um, I always like to download it with the transparent background, so that's not going to have anything white. Um, so when you go to use that on things like reels, pictures, um, you're not gonna have that obnoxious white square. So you're gonna go ahead and hit the download button on that, and boom, there you have it. A very quick, simple, easy, and efficient free logo in Canva. Again, I will be more than happy to do the gradient work logo. Um, that's gonna be coming up in a different um, a different video, um, and that's going to be doing everything in Photoshop only. Um, so as always, thank you for watching. Smash the subscribe button, activate that like, the like button, um, and make sure you follow us on Instagram for more. Um, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Shark Tank.